Let us now build RSI reversal strategy. Here are the entry and exit conditions. For this strategy, we will use the following instruments. Before we build this strategy, we need to understand the following. What is RSI? According to Investopedia, the relative strength index, RSI, is a momentum indicator that measures the magnitude of recent price changes to evaluate the overbought or oversold conditions in the price of a stock or other asset. The RSI is displayed as an oscillator, a line graph that moves between two extremes and can have a reading from 0 to 100. The indicator was originally developed by J. Wells Wilder Jr. and introduced in his seminal 1978 book, New Concepts in Technical Trading Systems. Traditional Interpretation and Usage of the RSIR Values of 70 or above indicate that a security is becoming overbought or overvalued and may be primed for a trend reversal and an RSI reading of 30 or below indicates an oversold or undervalued condition. So, we make an assumption, that once, the price series goes above 30, it will continue to remain above, till it crosses 70 and becomes overbought and trigger a trend reversal. However, we will not wait for the overbought to get triggered. We will exit our position, as soon as we hit our target profit or target stop loss. All right, let us start. 1. Click Create from the Strategies drop-down. 2. Name your strategy. 3. Tag it with the appropriate type. And fill the description with your best understanding of the strategy as well as the parameters used in it. Before we create our entry conditions, we need to select our list of instruments, which the conditions will scan through, by clicking the three dots next to set number 1. If you are unaware, what list is and how it works, please see the tutorial on it, created separately. Once the instrument list is selected, click add an entry block. Note, TradeTron gives you the keyword to calculate RSI. Please check our video, on what are keywords and how to use them. In the drop-down, select Position. Then, select RSI in the Series drop-down. Type minus 2 as the position and click OK. Inside the newly created position keyword, click RSI, and type 14 in the period. Then click OK. Then click Symbol. Select your period under Candle Type. Select Number of Candles under Max History Candles. And click OK. Now click Instrument Name. Choose the exchange from the first drop down. Scroll to the Lists section and select your created list for this strategy and click OK. Next, click the keyword drop-down, and select the lesser than sign and click OK. Click the keyword drop-down, select the number keyword. Type your threshold and click OK. Great! You have successfully created the first condition. All you need to do now is to add more conditions and connect them with the logical operator. To understand how the logical connection works, please see our video made separately on this. Once all the conditions are done, click Submit to save your entry condition. Now that you have created your entry condition, you need to take your positions once this condition is satisfied. 1. Click Add Next to Positions. 2. Click Buy on top. 3. Since you had selected your list at the start of this, the system has automatically selected it for you. 4. Put your quantity. And click Add to add this position. Finally, you need to tell the system when to exit. You can do this in the Exit block. 
click Add Next to Exit to open the Condition Builder for Exit. Similar to how we built conditions for entry, follow the same procedure for exit. For the exit, we will build a Take Profit condition first. To do this, select LTP keyword from the drop down. LTP stands for Last Traded Price. Give it the instrument name. And check if this value has gone above the Take Profit threshold using the math keywords. You have successfully created the first condition. All you need to do now is to add more conditions and connect them with the logical operator. Please note, the conditions will be connected to each other, with a logical OR, as we want to exit the trade whenever any one of the three conditions is satisfied. Fantastic! All that is left to do is scroll down and click Create, and select Deploy. Select Paper Trading for Execution. And you have successfully created your strategy. Now, go to your deployed page to see if the strategy is taking positions.